GitHub Unwrapped 2023, my favorite projects of the year, Windows AI Studio Preview, and a pick of the week that is absolutely inevitable. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub, and this is the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. This is our final episode of 2023, and so, as promised, I am wearing my Windows XP ugly sweater that dropped a couple of weeks ago. I am desperately hoping that the green color is not making it hard on our amazing editor, so if something looks weird or like I don't have arms, it's my fault. It's not on the editor, it's my fault. And because it is the end of the year, it's a fun time to look back. So every year, Spotify does its popular Spotify Unwrapped Year in Review that shows off top songs and artists. And a lot of other companies uh, do something similar. And we love to follow a trend at GitHub. So GitHub Unwrapped is back for 2023. So you can go to githubunwrapped.com to get a custom year in review video showing off your most used languages, your stars, commits, and more. And as with previous years, this project was implemented by the amazing team at Remotion this year in collaboration with 41 Red, who designed the project. And by default, the video is going to be of your public code uh, contributions, but if you want your private contributions to count too, you can log into the app, which I think is really cool. Um, I love how Unwrapped looks this year, and of course, the source code is available too, and you can get your own GitHub Unwrapped video at githubunwrapped.com, and I've got that link down below in the show notes and the description as well. Unsurprisingly, I starred a lot of projects this year because that is my favorite thing to do. And on that note, I decided to make a stars collection of some of my favorite projects from 2023. Now, these projects weren't all from 2023. Some I just discovered this year and, and some might I might have discovered in the past, but they had major developments this year. Um, unsurprisingly, there are a lot of AI projects because this was the year that AI and ChatGPT ate the world. And you can find my 2023 favorites at gh.io slash filmgirl dash best dash 2023. And I've got that link down below. Be sure to let me know your favorite projects in the comments on this video. And because it's the end of the year, um, there's not a ton of news, but I did want to talk about the initial preview release of Windows AI Studio. So this was announced last month at Microsoft Ignite, and it's a VS Code extension that, in the words of the project, simplifies generative AI app development by bringing together cutting-edge AI development tools and models from the Azure AI uh, Studio catalog and Hugging Face. And like I said, you can browse the model catalogs powered by Azure ML or Hugging Face. You can download them locally and then fine-tune them to use in your Windows apps. All this is going to happen locally, so you need to make sure that your uh, computer can take the load. Right now, it only supports NVIDIA GPUs, so keep that in mind. And then on the Q&A, the team notes that although at this time the extension is only supported in Windows, the team is planning other platform support. Um, it's WSL under the hood, but you can't run it from the WSL environment. So I've got a link to the GitHub repo for the project and the links down below, as well as the VS Code extension. Next up, Doom is one of the most important and influential games of all time, and it just turned 30 last week. And so its creators, John Romero and John Carmack, reunited on Twitch for a conversation. And look, if you're a fan of games history or even you know, software development or all of the above, I recommend giving it a watch. I really loved it. Also, how is Doom 30? I, I hate time. Moving on to some things that I do not hate, I mentioned a few months ago that we rolled out our Apple Silicon powered M1 Mac OS larger runners for GitHub Actions. And this has been a long time request from our users and it's so cool, they're finally available. But what I couldn't share a few months ago was that I got together with our Senior Director of Engineering, Isha Sethi, for um, a tour of the facility where we build our custom racks to store all of those M1 machines. And we made a video. And, and you can view the whole video link down below. But I'm going to be completely honest, getting to tour that data center facility and see how a Mac Mini goes into a custom rack was one of my highlights of 2023. Speaking of Macs, it is now time for my project Spotlight. And so Apple has been doing some really great stuff to optimize Apple Silicon for uh, large, large language models and machine learning over the past few months. And they just released a new machine learning framework called MLX. And Ani Hanun calls it an efficient machine learning framework specifically designed for Apple Silicon, i.e. your laptop. And this is for AI and ML devs who are wanting to be able to train models and also run models uh, using you know things like Llama or Stable Diffusion or OpenAI's Whisper on their Apple Silicon Macs. And so I've got a link in the show notes and description to the MLX project, as well as a repo of examples. 
And as somebody who just got 128 gigabyte M3 um, MacBook uh, Pro Max, I'm excited. So well done. I love that it's open source. And now it's time for my pick of the week. And look, as the final one for 2023, I could not be more obvious. Time Magazine named Taylor Swift Person of the Year. She's always my Person of the Year. But the Eras Tour sort of defined culture this year, and it's now available to stream. So yeah, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour movie is my pick of the week. You can stream it basically everywhere. Sadly, you can't buy it. It's just a rental. But if you're a fan or just went away to kill three hours, you should check it out. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you all for joining me this week and all year. And if you like this video, leave us a like. It helps the algorithm. And don't forget to comment on your favorite projects of 2023 or on anything else. See you next time and next year.